Sure. Uh, it's, it's a real interesting uh, time, I think. Uh, part of this came out of a discussion I had with Justin Smith, who's the uh, newish still CEO of Bloomberg Media, moving over there from Atlantic Media a little more than a year ago. And having built uh, Quartz, which is still a very good model as a business news product, they took advantage at Atlantic of uh, the mobile renaissance as it was happening 2012, 2013, and the growth of native advertising. And as he's looking forward now, he's saying, okay, really interesting time. Uh, and I was talking to him about the Bloomberg.com redesign and what it meant. And I, I'd written, I read a lot of stuff out there talking about the design itself. And I wanted to hear about the strategy under it. And the strategy under it, he said, is based on three big phenomenon. And that is the fact that millennial readers are coming of age. This is a generation that's bigger than the baby boomers. It's been out there for a long time, but it is getting older and it is becoming a news reading generation. And all the data shows they read a lot of news, but they read it differently than their elder generations read it. That's number one. Number two is mobile itself. So mobile was ascending when Quartz was being built. But this year, most news companies, U.S. and Europe, are crossing over that line. More than 50% of the page views are coming from mobile, most of them from smartphones. We think this will be 75% by 2018, 2019. And then you look at the third phenomenon, which is social, largely Facebook, but also Twitter, LinkedIn, and Pinterest are supplanting Google as a way of finding stories, the whole discovery question. Everything that we see of, uh, oh, read this story, read that story, they still come by email in our inbox, but they have come increasingly by Twitter and Facebook as well. He said, if you put together these three phenomena, what happens is it opens up a field of new readers to be, to be brought in. Essentially, that habits, um, such as they are in the digital world, and we've been in this world for 20 years now, are partly formed. They're not as entrenched or hardened as in a print world or broadcast world, but they're being formed. And these three factors are newly opening up people to the discovery of new stories. And so if you're running Bloomberg.com or a newspaper website or a TV website, you have a lot more potential readers. At this point, we could say 2015, maybe 2018, uh, then you may have several years in the future and then you had in 2012.